Sniping in Halo has always been a sense of pride for players. Some players have made careers around it, others pick it up and immediately die, then yell at their teammates. You don't want to be the latter, and that's why this video is here to help you. My name's Holotide, and if you like Halo content from news to tips and tricks, funny gameplay, and more, go ahead and sub to the channel and help us reach our goal of 10k subs. If this video helped you, go ahead and leave a like, and now let's get into how you can improve your sniping skills. There will also be timestamps and chapters for this video if you want to skip straight to tips and bypass why and how the sniper is used, but I think you should stick around for that insight personally. Some players may have noticed that the sniper in Infinite feels a little different than other snipers in previous games. This was by design by 343, and I'll give my opinions after their reasoning. It's important for us to understand the mechanics behind the weapon before I can straight up tell you what to do. 343 says, Eagle-eyed marksmen notice the hipfire shots from the sniper are not always dead center, even though they always stay within its small reticle. This is intended for a few reasons, with the most notable being ensuring the S7 is used as a long-range weapon. And, since we know people will ask, our tuning is in line with previous Halo titles that also had this effect on their UNSC sniper rifles. Right now, it is intended for the hip firing with the S7 to be accurate and consistent within a certain range. Beyond that range, players should scope in. Again, this behavior is not new to snipers in Halo or even to other precision weapons in Halo. We understand where you're coming from, but we'd like for you to try to get used to the ranges for no scoping and scoping in before we make any changes here. A lot of people have pointed out that the reasoning as to why they are balancing this is because of keyboard and mouse. Since normally using a precision weapon is considered easier to use with that input, I'm not here to start a war, but I think a change like this affects both inputs negatively. But oh well, here we are. So what does this mean for gameplay? It means that you won't be able to beam someone across the map with high accuracy like you may have been able to in older Halo titles. To me, Halo 3 is the quote-unquote hardest Halo game to snipe in, but Infinite is definitely gunning for that throne. You have to actually aim your shots as opposed to just letting your reticle glide over targets and then letting bullet magnetism do all the work. The biggest issue right now is whether or not the rest of the sandbox and weapons are better at de-scoping and beating the sniper rifle. And as of this recording, the sniper feels like it's difficult to use and feels like it has low bullet magnetism and aim assist. Anecdotally, I agree with that sentiment, but after a few rounds in training, I was getting more and more comfortable with the zoom and how precise you have to be. The hitboxes also feel extremely small compared to other games as well, so that probably adds to that difficulty. When I went looking for how people felt about the sniper on the internet, there was a lot of salty gamers. So what are you gonna do to improve? How do we make this weapon deadly in your hands? And the easiest answer is to practice. And Infinite offers you two good options on that end. But before we get into that, I'm going to give you a few points of advice when using the weapon that you can bring with you into the practice arena. The first tip I can give you, and this is with both input devices, is you don't want to chase around the targets with your reticle. You really want them to come into your line of sight and then kind of walk into the reticle. Now, of course, there are going to be people that are amazing at doing flicks and things like that. But for you just starting out and wanting to get better, just let them come to you. I think another thing that happens is new players get really nervous and they just start spamming shots instead of taking their time, remaining calm, and making sure that that reticle is on the target. So just take a deep breath and know that you're probably going to die anyways if you miss that first shot, but just try to remain calm and keep that reticle on the enemy. The Academy's weapon drills and the training mode with bots offer a stress-free to even sweaty gameplay practice opportunities for you to refine your skill. You can hop into weapon drills to get warmed up and get some gameplay with the sniper without being shot at, and once you get a good feeling for the weapon, you can hop into training and take on some ODST to Spartan level bots while giving yourself the sniper off every spawn to really put yourself in a live fire scenario. This will give you the muscle memory and reaction that you need and may lack compared to a veteran Halo player without wasting months in regular matchmaking and waiting to grab the sniper. You can also fine tune your aim sensitivity for each zoom level as well. And I think 343 is trying to really make the sniper a more long range weapon, hence the zoom magnification being up and the accuracy for no scoping instead of it being a sniper slash shotgun. Will this work in the long run? I don't know. That's really all there is to it. There's no crazy secret you know to becoming a godlike sniper it really is just practice like anything in life and like i said before halo infinite offers you a stress-free environment to do that so utilize it 
But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you want more Halo content, tips and tricks, news, all that good stuff, make sure you sub as we are trying to hit 10K. And I will catch you all in the next video.